What is up everyone? Lyndon SG here with another unboxing. This one is something that I've been looking forward to getting a hold of since 2019. That's when I first pre-ordered this device and then 2020-2021 happened and issues with parts and whatnot kept them from uh, fully releasing. But it is now here, the Olimega Retro Gaming System. And this thing is an ultimate gaming system when it comes to retro as it handles a lot of different media. Let's start with the base unit right here. The fairly heavy box. And right here is the base unit itself. And we got a little release button on the side. A little more on that later. On the back, of course, the usual suspects with uh, power, HDMI, Ethernet cable and a an SD slot. So, yeah. And get more details on that. But yeah, so let me just set that there for a moment. Do the rest of this box. And we also have a little, little USB dongle. And of course, that is for this, the uh, Polymega Universal Controller. Use it for any game that you play on the system. Has a feel about the same size as the DualShock 4, to be honest. So some may find that. Well, well we can do some comparisons. My DualShock 5. Yeah, DualShock 5 feels a touch bigger. And... Well... Pretty close in feel to the uh, Series X controller, to be honest. Only a little more lengthy there, like a PlayStation controller. And the sticks have a nice little bit of tension to them good. Nice bit of spring to the trigger buttons as well. And the final bit of box in this thing. We've got ourselves the uh, HDMI cable. Something a little unexpected. There. A uh, power brick. That's a big deal. Makes the main unit a little more compact. USB cable. And of course, power cable. Now, I mentioned earlier about this uh, little release button on the side. When it comes, well, actually, before I mention that, let's look here the uh, disk drive. This disk drive will handle a number of different game systems disks, including PlayStation. The original PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, the Mega Drive CD, Neo Geo CD, and TurboGrafx-16, 
CD, PC Engine CD, other other systems that they have not listed here. And with this uh, little section here that comes off, there are modules which you can use for playing different cartridges. Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, along with their Japanese counterparts, Famicom, Super Famicom, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, and the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of the modules here. This is the NES slash Famicom. Here is the module right here. As you can see, uh, ports on this side for the original NES controllers, if that's what you prefer. The slot up on top. And on the back is where it connects to the Polymega. Got the slots right there. And it's just a simple slide in and lock. And boom, you got a Nintendo. Be able to fit. And each of the uh, module units come with one controller. They're designed to feel similar to the uh, original controller, but at the same time, a little more comfort. There's a little roundness there that the NAS controller did not have. That thing was a knuck knuckle buster. Of course, we have the B, A button, select start, and a little polymega central button here for uh, basically getting us back to the home menu. Didn't include anything extra in there. Uh, right. A box closed. Yes, I'm going at it sideways. <laughs> I need more coffee. Oh, that's supposed to be the right way. Hey, there we go. There we go. Now we've got the three other modules here. Here is the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom. Again, you see the ports there for the right controller. The slot. And again, region free, so Japanese cartridges will work just fine. And connector. I'll leave these things in their box until I'm actually gonna use them. And the Super Nintendo-esque controller with the complete with the shoulder buttons L and R as did Super Nintendo. Notice they use the basic actually they have the button layout on these the uh, same way Nintendo does with A up here B down here and of course X and Y reversed as well really notice that until now.
And next up, the Genesis slash Mega Drive unit. And they label it right here, Mega Drive Genesis 32X. So if you got any of those rare 32X cartridges kicking about, they'll plug right in here too. Those old nine prong controller ports. And of course, the connector. And here is the controller that goes with this one. A little, a little slimmer than the original Genesis controller. The six button layout. And laid it pretty much the same as how Sega would do it. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. One more unit to show there we go the module number four the turbo graphic 16 pc engine module It takes the super super graphics cards as well. Two ports. Fairly straightforward. Now the control the controller for this has a six button layout as well. The D pad little rib bit there just for decoration and something that was common to the turbo graphics but not many other controllers had turbo switches which came in very handy on some of those shooters That is the system itself. I do need to get things hooked up, do a little bit of setup. Once I do that, we will flip back to the flip back on here and get the a little bit of show of the system in action. Hang tight. All right, we have the Polymega hooked up and ready for setup. When you first fire it up, have your controller hooked up via USB. Make sure the power light is on. And hold down right on the D-pad for two seconds. Select language selection as per usual region. End user agreement that nobody reads. And there we go. So, the menus we have first my collection. Let's see here PlayStation, PlayStation Pal, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo PAL, Super FC, aka the Super Nintendo Japan, Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, the engine, we've got some, each of the modules that you get, Come with five 
pre-installed games with the we have here Viper for the PlayStation 40 Winks Rescue the Embassy Mission I remember seeing that one <laughs> Uh, Battle Squadron from the Genesis. Up Racer. For the Super Famicom. SNES. Uh, Commando. And the Super Famicom version as well. Now. We have Made with NES Maker. Not familiar with that. Doodle World. Hira and the Forty Thieves. The Tower of Turmoil. Flea. Soko. Soko Banana. Dragon Master. Turtle Rescue. And of course we have that. Now for the Mega Module, the Sega Legacy Vault, Sega Genesis Mega Drive, we get Top Racer 2, Legend of the Magic Warrior. Water Margin, like a action fighter game. Pinhead, I dimly recall this one on the Genesis. And Sword of Sodan. Yeah, from the NES days, Eight Eyes, their popular RPG back in the day. Nightshade, Power Punch 2, aka Mike Tyson's Punch Out, I think. Target Renegade, otherwise known as Renegade. And Treasure Master, which was rather obscure. Uh, Super Nintendo, they give us Dragon View. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Let's pull up some details. Uh, Japanese game, Jerum Sentai Barayaru. Interesting cover shot, I gotta say. give you a list of similar games, some other games that were released in 95. You can manage, like, and uninstall if you like, update, break the game. Legend. This game's no pushover. Featuring G.I.N. Puzzle game ant pushing over dominoes. Gourmet warriors. And Top Racer 2 and Super Draken. Down here to the PC Engine Turbo Graphic 16. They have uh, pre installed in the vault Aizu Shujin Shibiban Man 2. Like a uh, Duck Man. Okay. Looks like 
supposed to be like a Mega Man type of idea. Double dungeon. Oh, dungeon crawl. Both the PC Engine and the North American version. Moto Rotor. Little driving game. The sequel, Moto Rotor 2, which was only in Japan. Moto Rotor. Original Moto Rotor PC Engine version. The first Shockman. Which was this game right here that was look Kaizu Shujin. That that is the prequel to this game. And Dragon Egg. Riding around on a dragon firing fireballs. A girl and her egg all alone in the cruel world. Uh, yeah. You're growing your own Yoshi. That's in the playlist section. Alright. Media. There's basically the pre-installed games right now, and the system menu. Check your home screen, search, view the entire database, screenshots, controllers, settings, restart the system, and power off. Let's take a look at settings. Wi-Fi, we're going to easy setup. Just going to turn off the capture here while I put in my password. Reasons. <laughs> Almost done. Here we're going to download the uh, system update. Very fast. Let's see. This may take a few minutes.
fairly fast on the installs as well, which is good. Microsoft could learn from that with their Xbox. Oh. So this is what you'll expect to do when you first fire this thing up. these guys for copy lost astronaut I am a uh, brand ambassador so. very good coffee go to lost astronaut coffee.com Eventually, with this system, they do plan on eventually having a store where you would be able to purchase titles. They're working with publishers on that end. Why is it reboot? And we'll do so momentarily. Yeah. up on the reboots <laughs> they, they have had a few updates since I let I had pre-ordered this thing to when I finally got hold of it recording here while it's and there we go installations are fully done just having a look at the different games here bigger why not uh, want to do that per se Let's have a look at uh, Renegade for the Nintendo Entertainment System. As you all, a lot of you recognize the game. Side scroller, fighter. brother. Go get him. Good luck, kid. See, they, they kept the story simple back then.
Ay, 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 ay. I don't remember the start being quite this. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Trying to figure out how I got the... I did got the jump kit once. I get one kick in the gut and I'm dead. <laughs> no instruction books for these things. Let's maybe go back home. Exit game and we'll look at something else. <laughs> did claim to have any sort of skills Another thing I did there, just out of habit, I was using the, the analog stick there to try to move. Doesn't work. I use the D pad. Ooh. 
these shooters were always the pet. Relentless. Turbo graphic, 16 or PC engine, motor rotor. Oh, right. Let's maybe do a little. I'm certainly not going to save the world with that kind of performance. Still, so, set up for the game. with your bones.
some of the mechanics of that. At any rate, that is the Polymega. If you want to get hold of this system yourself, just head to polymega.com. There definitely will take some getting used to, of course. Retro games, you can find various places. Best to check out pawn shops, eBay, yard sales, flea markets. Uh, EastArland.com, a good spot to look as well. There are no affiliate ship, just saying. So, hope you enjoyed this look at the Polymega. We will uh, see you next time in the coffee shop. Later. <laughs>